Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to add syntax highlighting to Markdown with Next.js and Rehype Prism during build time. The completed code can be found here at this link. So you can use this as a reference. Now if you'd like to add syntax highlighting at runtime, uh, there's another post on that here. So the first step is to get an XJS project initialized like this, and then you'll have to install these dependencies here. So that is the downside to doing it at build time. There are a lot of packages that you'll have to install. So after you've had that installed, uh, you'll create a markdown helper. So this just takes some markdown string and then parses it into HTML, and then it will add a whole bunch of classes to the HTML that will give your code syntax highlighting. Uh, so you'll have to have some sort of data source, so maybe you're getting this markdown from a database or an API or from the file system. Uh, we're just gonna add one to the file system like this. And then we'll have a a uh, helper that will pull from the file system and then uh, parse the markdown and then we can use that helper in our page and then we'll just pass it to uh, a div uh, using this dangerously set inner HTML and then we can have our syntax highlighting so here is a quick demo of that so you can see I have some JavaScript and Python uh, syntax highlighting here and uh, yeah just to give a quick tour of the code this is what it looks like we have our app router and you know I have my helpers in here and then here is the markdown helper as well as the markdown anyways I hope that helps and uh, I'll see you next time